The concatenate function in Excel allows you to merge multiple values together. In this example, we have a customer list with a first name and a last name. And now we basically want a new column in which we can get the full name. For this, we are going to use equals concat. And as you can see, we have two options now. It is concatenate and also concat. And um, since the concatenate function is an old function, which will be replaced by the concat function, we will use the first one here. And you can always see that, um, that a function is an old one and will be replaced by this triangle with the exclamation mark. So we're going to use the concat function. And the first thing we have to pass is the first name and then also the last name. When we type the closing bracket and hit the enter key, you can now see that we have Michael Jones, but there is no space in between. So this is something that bothers me and therefore we will add a space now. And a space can be easily added simply after the first name, we will type in the quotation marks with an empty space and then put in a comma or a semicolon. This basically depends in which area you're living or which software version you have. So we have the first function argument, which is the first name. We have the second function argument, which is an empty space in quotation marks. Then we have the third function argument, which is the last name. We hit the enter key. Now we have merged these two contents together. The second option is the merging function with the end sign. So we type in equals. Now we have the first name and then we simply type in the end sign. Then again, an empty space and the last name. And then the two names will be merged together. And now there comes the probably easiest way that you have. The easiest way is that you simply type in Michael Jones, press the enter key. And of course, for the first row, um, you will have to do this manually. But for all the other rows, you can simply drag this fill handle in the bottom right corner with the right mouse key downwards. And when you let go of the right mouse key in the context menu, select flash fill. Because what Excel does here, it recognizes that you're joining the first name with a space and with the last name. And it simply does this for all the next values automatically. And that's it for the concatenate function in Excel. If this video helped you, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also to hit the like button on the video. Thank you very much. And I see you in the next one.